So imagine you're scrolling through Instagram and you start going to, towards the bottom of your page and all of a sudden it keeps telling you, could not refresh feed, please try again or whatever the heck Instagram says. And so you're like, ah, okay, whatever. You log out of it for a second, go back in because you're like, oh, okay, I've got a super sweet picture to post. And you see that your entire page is blank. And it's like, hmm. So when you see that, first you freak out a little bit. Like, what the heck's going on? So what I did was I went to his Instagram down on Google and there was like a few reports. So I was like, okay, maybe some weird glitch. And then I refreshed and refreshed and refreshed and it, it wouldn't show the message that nothing would pop up in terms of like, could not refresh feed or whatever. And it said refresh like 33 minutes ago or something like that. And I was like, interesting. So I took a snapshot of it put it on Instagram stories, and then the people were like, yeah, um, I'm not seeing anything. So our Instagram account got hacked, and I don't know why, honestly, because I feel we don't really post like anything that would make someone want to delete all of our content. Um, but as a previous IT person, I should have known better, and I will know better from now on, and take precautions to make sure that never happens again. Why it happened in the first place, I don't know. Um, to that person, I hope you, you had fun. I, I, I But to that person as well too, you kind of actually helped, helped me out a little bit because I was always debating, like should I do a theme to my Instagram? Uh, you know, some of these pictures aren't as professionally made as I want them to be. And some of these pictures our cell phone pictures, which weren't bad. And then some of these pictures were professional, you know, pictures I took with my 70D, things on those lines with a 50 millimeter lens or whatever. And I was like, I want my Instagram to kind of stand out in the best quality I can in terms of our journey. And that person's kind of given me that, that way of doing it. So to you, sir, or madam, or whatever, I guess thanks in a way, but at the same time too, um, you're still a dick for doing it. Um, and that's the thing, when it comes to our infertility journey, when it comes to photography, when it comes to cinematography, I'm still new and learning, but people say that I've gotten pretty good. And I have to give some credit to like Peter McKinnon and things along those lines, because I've watched people as tutorials, and I'll pick up just small gems of stuff that I never would have thought about implementing or trying or, oh, that's how you do this. Or, you know, when it came to cinematography, I did my first video um, where I took a, pic uh, a full video of the Audi I'm working on. And it wasn't bad, but it was like shaky. And, and I feel like there were some, a lot of elements to it missing that could have made it better, which I'll probably even put that video at the end of this video if I still have it. I believe I do. That way you can kind of see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, now, when it came to our, our page, of course, when it comes to sharing our journey, I want to I want to look back on all of this. My wife and I, and that's why we're doing like videos and everything else. But at the same time, too, I want it to kind of show the type of work I can do. I'm not talking about every single post has to be this over dramatic artsy goofy picture or whatever along those lines but i still want it to be good quality pictures um i'm going to link three people down below that you should definitely check out these three ladies are just blowing like my mind with their pictures uh one of them is the the little scavengers um two uh the mommy mermaid and three uh M milo Ooh, I can't remember the name and I'm using my phone to record this, but all three of these women are amazing at Instagram, taking pictures, things along those lines. Um, and even though my wife followed them first, I tend to look at the picture. I'm like, how did they do that? Okay, what color is that? Okay, is that what kind of color tone and curve and all that other stuff? You know, oh, okay, that's a great shot. How, okay, think about this. Okay, so and that's literally, Instagram has given me such a sense of like, 
seeing other people's work and then thinking to myself, what can I do to make my work 10 times better? I'm not comparing my work. I'm just saying like, okay, so she used this technique. Okay, I can see where that came into play. And okay, no saturation here. Okay, they like to use normal backgrounds. And, you know, just, just that's photo, you know, just stuff like that. And I absolutely love Instagram for it. So in a sense, this person has not only deleted stuff that in terms of pictures, I actually, whenever you upload to Instagram, there's an option such on Android where you can save any picture you post. So I have all the pictures. I'm not worried about that, but the blogs are gone of the event of the picture. So I'm kind of like, that's going to throw a loop because, you know, each one of those was very specific in terms of that event what was happening, any any comments, things on those lines. Um, we st I started posting some of our old stuff again and I started posting uh, a new picture and everything on those lines and the engagement is still high. It's not like once those are all were gone, that was it. I mean, the likes are gone, but I could care less about likes. I care more about the story that's being told and how it's being told and how it looks while it's being told. Um, so, I mean, it sucks this happened it truly truly does but i feel that with like help like peter mckinnon and other uh tutorials on youtube youtube is like the huge free video library when it comes to photography or cinematography or anything if you have a idea about doing something google search it and youtube search it because when you go on youtube you can visually see it when you go on google you can read about it and those have really helped like step up my photography game a lot and i feel like there's always still just that next level that next level um and you know i feel that this instagram situation is a great way to get to that next level and i honestly i like, can't wait my wife she was like pissed off about it she, I, I texted her like someone hacked her instagram delay herself she just like what you know how blah 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 but then I said, hey, you know, this might be a good thing. You know, I've always wanted to, we've always wanted to try this and do that and do this. And she's like, yeah, I guess, but it's gone. I'm like, the pictures may be gone. Well, the blogs may be gone. But at the same time, too, our memories are of it. And we can always upload again. And we're going to keep uploading, keep sharing. I'm going to take the necessary security steps that I need to to make sure it doesn't happen again. Why well, I have it in the first place, I don't know. But I also think, cause I used a lot of like outside Instagram trackers for like the analytics and, and followers and unfollowers and all their stuff. And I think that's how they got to the account. Cause when you start linking a whole bunch of stuff to your Instagram, uh, you don't know who's on the other end of it. And it, I think that's what happened. I don't think someone was you know, trying to personally find our Instagram page and, and like, oh, I'm gonna take all of this down. I think there was a hack from me using another app and then that other app got into it because we've noticed that on uh, one of our other page that we have like people were following and I'm like, why are, why, I'll ask someone like, why are you following this person or why are you following this kid model? It's weird. I was like, I'm not. And I'll look, like what time I did it was, I took a screenshot of our current followers and then
gonna stop rambling on. I'm still a little mad. That's why this video's been so long, but we'll live and we'll be pumping out more videos soon. So love you. Take care. See you in the next one.